Hey Capricorns, my name is Jason. This is Ray of Light Tarot. Uh, this is a new channel for me. I've been doing tarot for quite some time. However, I haven't been doing it publicly. I've been doing it mostly privately and uh, among people who I know. I uh, appreciate you being here. This is a general reading for you guys for the month of August, what's left of the month of August. We just came out of this eclipse yesterday. This is the uh, 12th of August. And so I feel like there's a lot going on. The energy is strong today. Uh, and the readings are on point. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it does, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support so much. And um, on more note, I am a Virgo, so I'm a fellow Earth sign. I see that I have stains on my shirt, and I'm a perfectionist. And I got a clear message today about letting go of that need for perfection, letting go and letting God. And so if I can deal with the stains on my shirt and not change clothes for you guys, you can deal with it too. <laughs> so I do apologize, but it's a personal thing that I'm dealing with, okay? Anyway, what other, uh, what messages, universe, thank you, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the remainder of August? What clear and direct messages do you have for Capricorn? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of you are on your way to marriage, I can tell you that, which is great, interesting. Marriage or a very spiritual connection, something that goes very deep. I gotta look at the rest of the cards though, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so I need one more card for Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is a beautiful reading. Um, what's on the bottom? Okay. The overall energy for your reading is uh, the hanged man. Don't get worried. This doesn't necessarily mean that you're stuck. For me, what this means based on the other cards that are coming out for you guys is that you're making, you've got a big choice to make, a big decision. And um, it feels exciting okay so in your recent past you have the seven of cups seven of cups typically represents too many options um some illusions about some things you may have been you know dating multiple people and not sure which direction to go in however also in your recent past some clarity came through with a divine gift an ace of pentacles so this could represent an earth sign i don't think so though based on the rest of the cards um actually you could still be trying to make a decision um, between either an earth sign and a water sign or an earth sign and a Gemini specifically. Um, in your present, you've got the lover's card. I, I like to do the two cards at once that, that are for each, each, each time. In the present, you've got the lover's card and the, the knight of cups. Uh, what this is saying to me is that you are having to make a decision It could be a Gemini, or I still feel like it could very well be an Earth sign. Uh, this pen, no, okay, it's a Gemini for for a lot of you. You're having to make a decision between some two people, and you're going to you're, you've made a decision, or you're you're about to to offer your cup to someone. This is not representing a water sign to me. This is representing you offering your love to someone, and it's a big it's a big decision because it's leading. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, I feel like it's not only an earth sign or a Gemini, it's either a Gemini or a Taurus, most likely. Um, you've got the Hierophant, but you've also got, and this is in your near future, you've got the Hierophant and the Two of Coins, Two of Pentacles. So, it feels to me like you're making a choice between a Gemini and a Taurus. So, whoever this, this is, this is a very specific general reading. This is coming through strongly for somebody uh, or a, a few people, uh, whoever you're, you're making a decision between, they're coming through clearly in your reading and yeah. Okay. Can you please clarify the two of pentacles as an outcome card? Okay, 
for the clarification on the Two of Pentacles, you've got the High Priestess and the Four of Cups. So Capricorn, you've got a lot of options. Um, with the High Priestess, this is about using your intuition because one of these cups, one of these people in your life is divinely guided. It's a soulmate connection. They may both be soulmate connections, but actually with the High Priestess, to me there's a twin, there's a twin flame representation here. Do you see the black and the white pillars? Um, you know in your heart the truth. You are clothed in the truth. So don't don't take too long to make this decision because you don't want to have a missed opportunity with whoever this person is. Um, this Four of Cups, it's almost like it's being offered to you. Look, there's an angel offering you a cup and you're looking at all these other cups and that cup and you just are refusing to make a decision. So it's almost like not heart over head or head over heart, but passion versus love. Wow. So this connection though with, 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 with either the Gemini or the Taurus is divinely guided. You've got to make a decision. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card for you guys. This is getting interesting to me. Okay. So is it the air sign or the earth sign? Which are they both divinely guided? What's going on? Thank you. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. So um, I think the Gemini is who. You, okay. So you're you're getting the Death card here, and for some reason this is telling me something about this Taurus in your life. Do you see the uh, priest there? coming out of a death to something is going to be what leads to this. You've got to let go. Let something die. One or the other. It's, you know, you have to follow your own heart, guys. If it's the air sign, if it's the earth sign, whichever one for you, you know in your heart what's what's real and what's not. And you've got to let something go with the death card here in order to uh, have fulfillment and for this connection to go through. And with the high priestess, you already know. Your intuition is strong. You know what's up. I mean... Most earth signs, we're pretty good at manifesting and we're also pretty intuitive. So I really suggest you go go within and yeah, the death card and the high priestess are, are, are standing out together for me. Do you see the colors here and those pillars and the death card? I feel like when you go within, you already know what you need to let go of and it's going to help you to make a decision because in your near future, you're, it still looks like you're, you, you're, 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 trying to make a decision between two strong options. So um, let's do one outcome card with the Dreams of Gaia deck to see if we can get any further clarification. It doesn't, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but it just, I, I'm, I'm not getting clarification on what you need to choose. So I just have to tell you, you know though, you've got the High Priestess and you know, but I can tell you something's being offered to you from the divine and it's a gift of the universe. And it's got, there's, see the portal, it's waiting for you to take it and walk through. So really, really go within and use your better judgment on where to, where to go, what direction to go in. What uh, walk, walking away final outcome card do you have for Capricorn for the remainder of the month of August? What do they need to know going away? Thank you, universe. Thank you. What do they need to know going away? Whoa. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you've got the scribe. The scribe is someone who is uh, very much an observer. The scribe is someone who keeps records. I suggest you start journaling. Uh, use your intuition and if you have trouble connecting to what you really want, start journaling. Really expressing yourself, your thoughts and your feelings. Uh, the scribe, that's how they make the scribe makes decisions is by, by articulate and, I'm sorry, by being articulate in their, their words and also by very uh, clear record keeping. So what this says to, to, to this reading is that you definitely have a decision to make and it's gonna require you to really take stock of everything in your life, take stock of what's important to you. I mean, hey, you're obviously a popular person if you're watching this because you your recent past was the Seven of Cups and you're coming out of this thing at least you're, you're, you're trying to make a decision between two good options. So it's nothing bad here. This is all good stuff. It's just, I know sometimes having uh, to make decisions can be tough, but just be very um, 
be very clear. Once you make a decision, stick with it. Trust yourself and stick with it and you're going to be okay. I'm going to do be uploading some soulmate readings for each sign uh, this coming week, so hopefully that'll offer you some more clarification. If this does resonate with you and you would like a more personalized reading for further clarification, I'd be happy to do that for you. Just email me. It's rayoflighttarot at gmail.com. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you or it didn't, just leave it. You know, when you do general readings, it can only resonate for some some people because even though it's a general and it's not... I'm not intentionally picking up on one person's energy. What comes through comes through for certain people that are going to watch this, that are meant to watch it, and that's who it's for, and that's it. So um, I appreciate your time, guys, and uh, thank you for joining. Please like and subscribe if it did resonate. Please like and subscribe if it didn't resonate. The next one might. Have a good day.